Bob points to the turn four cone on top of the tire. That's where all original starts happen. Green flag is out for the first time of the evening. As they ride it down to turn number one, Mike Shane on the outside, Ryan Olsimer down on the inside. They stay side by side off the number two corner. Slight advantage to the Olsimer 42 ride into turn number three. Both cars getting together. Hang on, Moose Gully gets through. Not sure if they got together, if they both kind of checked up at the same time. We'll wait for the officials to make their call. Green flag is waving. We're racing down the front straightaway. As they ride it down to turn one, Moose Gully on the point. Ryan Olslammer. Ryan Olslammer shows him up the back straightaway. Off turn number four, they ride. Olslammer shows the point. Then it's the M14 of Gully, the M16 of Shane. The double O Williams of Ryan Olsner. His first start of the season behind any wheel of any race car here at the Pencan Speedway, showing he knows how to get around this 3 8 mile Pencan Speedway oval. Battle shaping up for that number two spot right now. It belongs to the M14 of Moose Gully, but the M16 of Mike Shane right there on his back bumper. They ride it up the back straightaway, nose to tail, down in the three, Shane gets a look-see. Holds down to the inside line, off to number four, this time halfway, four down, four to go for Ryan Olsimer. Olsimer shows the way up the back straightaway. The M14 of Gully continuing is in the number two spot, third is Shane, fourth Williams. Williams just getting the, that race car put together at the end of last season, only been in it a couple of times this season. Getting the handle of the great sportsman from the factory stock division. Meanwhile, off turn number two, Mike Shane to the outside of Moose Gully as they go up into turn number three. They're both in a redraw position. Gully pushes it hard down into turn three and four. Gets a stick pointed at him. Meanwhile, well, that happens. A 42 of Rhino. Ryan Olsimer pulls away up the back straight away to about an eight car length advantage. Off to number four, the white silk is in the sky. One more time around the speedway for Ryan Olsimer, Moose Gully, and Mike Shane, and Jeremy Williams. Again, Shane going to take a look to the inside of Gully. He gets into him out the back straight away. Checkered flag is in the air. The wind goes to the 42 of Ryan Olsimer. Mike Shane second. Third is the M14 of Moose Gully. Green flag is out, they're racing down the front straight away. The M7 at Angle leads them into turn number one, followed by Barton, Branning, and Lawrence. They ride it up the back straight away, that's the way they run into turn number three. Mike Nagel Jr. and Carter M7. Will Lee lap number one, that NEP telephone M7 ride. The 57 of Barton holds down the number two spot. He was reeling him in in the corner, but Nagel pulls away down the back stretch. Branding is third, Lawrence fourth. As they ride it down into quarter number three and four this time, two down, six remain. Mike Nagel Jr. leads lap number three in that Woodruff Trucking M7 ride. Third generation chauffeur out of Melrose shows the way over Barton, Branning, and Lawrence as they ride it down to turn number three and four. It's about a three car length advantage for the M7 and Nagel. He'll see the cross flags halfway, four down, four to go for Nagel. Barton, Branning, and Lawrence. Lawrence making only his handful of starts here in the 2017 campaign in the 515 ride. Off to number four. The M7 and Angle shows the way with about a four car length advantage. Over the 57 of Barton, the 12 of Branding, and the 515 of Tyler Lawrence. Nagel has been on the tear as of late here in the 2017 season. Parallel sticks are in the sky two more times around the speedway for Nagel. White flag in the air, one three-eighths of a mile to go for Mike Nagel Jr. Dusty Barton, Nick Branning, 
and Tyler Lawrence, that River Club sponsored 515 ride. Into the north end of the speedway for the final time. Checkered flag is in the air. Picking up the win and qualifying heat number two will be Mike Nagel Jr. Dusty Barton second. Nick Branning third and final redraw position. And Tyler Lawrence in cut number 515 is fourth. Green flag is out, we're racing on with turn number four, Travis Fitcher. Jumping out to the point in the turn number one and two, maybe his second. Tyler Smith up the racetrack, here comes France and Cody Manmiller in that double zero machine. Uh, but turn number four, Fitcher slides it up high, wide and handsome, he'll lead lap number one in the number 71. Maybe second, Hunter Deal third, Tim France in the 101 using that outside cushion, trying to get around the double O, Cody Manmiller. And in turn number three and four, we ride. It's still the 71 of Travis Fitcher showing the way. He'll pull lap number two up on lights on the Pepsi scoreboard. Camden may be second. The battle coming for third. And problems for the number 80 of Tyler Smith. Got to believe he lost the chain. Tough break for that young driver. In between three and four, the first cone, he's on the accelerator. We're back racing. Fitcher shows the way over maybe. France thought about going three wide and now the 73 of Jason Smith up in smoke. And that car up over the outside. Green flag is back out, back out around the speedway. Travis Fitcher shows the way in the number 71 hot rod. Battle gonna come down to third. Cody Man Miller to the outside. He'll race up to the outside and take over position number three. And right back on the inside comes Hunter Deal with a lane switch. Hunter Deal fourth in the point standings. You know, he wants to get into the top three to make it into the top six come feature time. Cross flags, four down, four to go for Travis Fitcher. He shows the way. Fitcher currently sits third in the point standings, maybe second in the point standings. But Cody Van Miller, the invader, up the number three and final redraw position. It's all Travis Fitcher out front. Parallel sticks are in the sky. Fitcher got up and into the cushion, lost a little bit of the advantage that he had with just two laps to go. Fitcher shows the way. Maybe riding in position number two, Van Miller third, Deal fourth, France fifth, then it's Smith and Decker. A white flag in the air. One more time around the speedway for Travis Fitcher. In between, quarter number three and four for the final time. Checkered flag is in the air, picking up the win. It's going to be Travis Pitcher. Camden may be second, third, and final redraw position to Cody Manmiller, fourth to Hunter Deal, and fifth to the 101 of Jamie France. Green flag is out there racing down to turn number one. Mudge on the outside, Bailey Boyd down on the inside. Drag race all but two, they're dead even. And Boyd's going to get the spot going down into turn number one. Mudge back to the number two spot. They're going to go three wide for position number three. Chris Kithcart, that 51-25 machine, took a look to the inside. Now going to tuck it back underneath the 26 of Grant Shabilia as they ride down the back straight away into turn number three and four. It's all Bailey Boyd out front, that Boyd Motorsports 163 ride. Current point leader, many time feature winner. Adam Mudge behind him, the rookie. Jamie France picked up a win a couple of weeks ago. He's in the third and final redraw position. Then it's the 25 of Chris Kithcart, the 26 of Grant Shibilia, the 62 of Shauna Shibilia, and the 51 of Josh Kithcart. They crossed the stripe that time. Yeah. 
As they go up the back straight away, it continues to ride the 163 of Bailey Boyd. Off turn number four, cross bikes in the air, four down, four to go. For Boyd, Mudge, France, Kithcart, Shabilia, Shabilia, and Kithcart. Bailey Boyd has this track figured out in 2017. Young driver rides it down to turn number three and four. Going to put five in and three remain for the Boyd Motorsports 163. Her second is Adam Mudge. Third is the 11 of France as Grant Shabilia gets way up out of the cushion. Parallel sticks are in the sky. Two more times around the speedway for Belly Boyd. Adam Mudge, Jamie France, Chris Kithcart, who came from outside of row number three of the fourth. Shabilia, Shabilia, and Kithcart. White flag going to be waving this time off turn number four. One more time around the speedway for Belly Boyd. Mudge loses that number two spot to the 11 of France, and he looks to have an issue as he rides off quarter number two. Problems for the 5 a.m. of Adam Mudge. He's going to drop it down through the infield. Yellow on the speedway. Green flag is out. They're riding down to turn number one. The 163 of Boyd sets it down to one and two. Final time off of quarter number two. Boyd rides up the back straightaway. Three car length advantage over France and Kithcart. And at turn number three and four, checkered flag is going to be waving on the corner. Picking up the win is Bailey Boyd. Second is France. Third is Kithcart. Fourth, Shabilia, Shabilia, and Kithcart. Off turn number four, Hartnett and Pompey have the field at hand. Green flag is waving. And Pompey jumps out to the race lead in the turn number one. Hartnett riding in that number two spot. Solomon third. Hang on, Bobby Tramper. He went up and up and over the outside line. Off turn number four. Green flag in hand. An original start. They are racing. Pompey gets a good start, but Hartnett a better one. In the turn one. Now Pompey going to try to go up to that cushion. He'll take the number two spot. Third is a 41 of Brian Puckett. They ride it into corner number three and four. Trapper down on the inside. Gets into the 119 of Elkum. Gets his pointer stick at him. Kevin Hartnett, a one-time feature winner this season for the multi-time track champion. Rides it into three and four. Pompey right there on his heels. That is the 41 of Puckett. Top three, they make it into the redraw. Mike Loney right there in position number four. Then fifth is the 119 of Brian Malcolm. Oh, but turn number four, Kevin Hartnett. Clicks down lap number three in that Hartnett race designs. Thomas Pompey, general contracting. Sponsor, number 88 machine. Second rides the 11P of Dan Pompey. Third is the 41 of Brian Puckett. He's got pressure from the 17D of Mike Loney. Loney trying to get himself into a top three redraw position. They're all chasing that big money tonight. An additional $300 to the winner of the modified main to beat Joey Grammis. Grammis can collect his own bounty. Off to number two, they ride it. It's all Kevin Hartnett showing the way, and the battle is heating up for that third and final redraw position. Parallel six are in the sky. Two more times around the speedway for the 88 of Kevin Hartnett. They're three wide for third. They continue to rage that battle for third. White flag is in the air for the 88 of Hartnett. He sets it down to the south end of the speedway for the final time. He has this one comfortably into turn number three and four for the final time. Checkered flag is in the air. The wind will go to the 88 of Kevin Hartnett. Dan Pompey is second. Third holding him off is the 41 of Brian Puckett. Fourth to Mike Loney and fifth to the 119 of Brian Malcolm. Final starter on the field aboard the Quinn Supermarket 145 defending track champion Alan Rudolavage. Green flag is out. We're racing second qualifying heat for the modifieds. It's green into turn number one. Tomkin going to get a good run down on the inside. They stay side by side into turn number three. 
They're going to continue the rain champ battle off of turn four. There's a cars getting together in the back of the pack, and caution on the speedway. Darwin Green will lead lap number one. The 151 of Joey Colston and the 145 of Alan Rudolovich. A round over at turn number four. Green flag is out for Darwin Green to turn number one. Colston got a great restart at 51. The ageless veteran out of Binghamton. Tonkin right there in position number three. Tonkin came close to a championship here a few seasons ago. But it's all DRG showing the way. Problems for Jeff Shealy. He gets it straightened up. Look at Tonkin getting by Colston. Down in the turn number three. Colston going to try to get back down to the inside. But give the number two spot to Brett Tonkin. Does Tonkin have anything left down of that tank to reel in DRG? Off the number four corner, Darwin pushes up. Brett Tonkin looking at it inside. Now he slides up, but he'll get a good run off number two corner. He skyrockets down the back straightaway. Five in, three to go. Look at them side by side off to number four. The hometown boy versus the regular. They ride up the back straight away. Darwin Green shows the way into turn number three and four. Parallel sticks are in the sky. Two more times around the speedway. DRG leads them to turn one. Tomkin gonna battle on the inside one more time. Green gets a good run up the back straight away. The DJ's Napa Auto Supply ride. White flag is out. That battle going to come down to the wire. Three eighths of a mile to decide it. Darwin Green slides up, opens the door for Tonkin. But motors down the back straight away in the three and four. Final time. Checkered flag is going to be in the air. They're going to be side by side off a of four. The wind will go to DRG. Green, Tonkin, Colston, top three. Redraw. Then it's Alan Rudolovich and Joey Colston, your top five. Paul Rooney has the field in hand. Green flag is our race, and Rooney gets a great start into turn number one that Eric Hines trucking number 54. Leads him off a of quarter number two and pulls away from Joey Grammis up the back stretch. As Nick Nye rides in position number three off turn number four, leading lap number one, it's going to be the 54 of Paul Rooney. Rooney leads the pack in between one and two. Ramis right there, second. Nick Nye, the modified rookie, riding in third. Battle for fourth. But it's all Paul Rooney showing the way. The modified rookie rides it down to one and two. The Rooney's equipment service. Eric Hines trucking number 54. He sets it down in between three and four this time. Lap number three, up in lights for the Rooney 54 machine. Working down to turn number three and four. This time the cross flags are in the air. Four down, four to go for the 54 of Paul Rooney. Joey Grammis, Nick Nye, Nick Petrilak, Butch Getz, Dan Morden. Rooney rides it off of turn number four. Car is dialed in tonight as he rides it by the start finish line. Five down, three remain. Rooney, Grammis, Nye puts a nose underneath Grammis. Parallel sticks are in the sky two more times around the speedway for Paul Rooney. He rides it off the number two corner, continuing to pull away by a car length each time off of turn number two. White flag in the air, one three eighths of a mile to go for Paul Rooney. Joey Grammis, Nick Nye, your top three redraw positions. Up the back straight away for the final time, Paul Rooney. Lines in between three and four, the checkered flag is in the hand. It's now in the air and picking up the win is Paul Rooney. Grammis for two, Nick Nye for three. 
for Trelac, fourth and fifth is Butch Gatz. Sykes and Washburn in the turn three and four. Green go stick in hand, and we're racing factory stock style down the front straightaway. Sykes on the inside, Washburn up on the outside. Sykes going to pick it into turn number one. The pack of factory stocks almost getting all together, but they straighten it up. And to turn number three, Jim Sykes shows the way. Mr. Big Sykes bent. Rides it off turn number four. Alicia Towner goes way up to the outside. She gets a piece of that outside retaining wall and has at least a fender ripped off. Definitely the nose piece up in the racing groove. Nate Hill on the inside. Jim Sykes, the race leader, up on the outside. Hollywood making his way up. Green, green, green. green flag is out the race and in a great start by Nate Hill. Driver of car number 11. He leads him to turn number one. Sykes right there in the number two spot. Look at the flying welder flying high on the outside. They're going to go three wide. Colbertson of the pace. Oh, but turn number four, leading lap number two will be Nate Hill. Race leader, he's going to have company here in a minute. Sykes and Groover running side by side for position number two. Sykes on the outside, Groover down on the inside. Lap number three complete for Nate Hill in that number 11 ride. Right rear flat tire on the Jim Sykes SIX machine. Off turn number four, battle shape it up for the race lead. Groover to the inside of Hill. Hill gonna go motoring down to the turn number one. Groover down on that inside line. Hill up on the outside. They're gonna go side by side up the back straight away. Groover with a nose out front in the turn three, but look at Hill fighting back on the outside in the turn three. Hill gonna get a push. Checkered flag is in the air, picking up the win. It's gonna be Groover and Carter 7R. Hill second. Second qualifying heat gonna go right way like this inside the front row is Paul Conklin to the outside, Chris Gruber. Ned pitch row two, Josh Towner alongside with Randy Fox in the two and a half, bringing up the rear. Green flag is out, they ride it down to turn number one. The 76 er Gruber rides the outside, they almost went four wide. Randy Fox down on the binders, Gruber up and out of the cushion, Josh Towner. Rockets up the back straight away, new race leader, and a turn number three and four. Randy Fox second, third is Gruber. Fourth, Conklin, Ned Pitts battling down on the inside. One lap in, five laps remain as they ride it down to turn number one and two. Josh Towner, the flying X, shows the way down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. Towner's gonna ride the cushion. Randy Fox looking to reel him in as they ride down the front straightaway. Gruber, that third and final redraw position as two laps complete on the Pepsi scoreboard with the final factory stock heat of the evening. Randy Fox shoots up a two out of a cannon in a three and four counter back to the number two spot. Now Fox gonna hit that cushion, hit his mark, sees the halfway. Three down, three to go for Randy Fox. Fox shows the way, Towner goes around over in turn number two, he gets stuck up on the hub. That's gonna necessitate a caution. Ah, but turn number four, green flag in hand. We're racing four down, two to go. For the two and a half of Randy Fox, Conklin gets around and the rookie driver gonna keep it going. Good job by the Ford C of Conklin to keep it going. Easily could have stopped, brought out a caution. Good job by the Ford C. Two and a half of Fox sets it down to the three and four this time. White flag will be in the air one more time around the speedway for Randy Fox. Chris Groover. And Ned Fitch. Into turn three and four. Check your flag is in the air. Picking up the win in heat number two for the factory stocks. It is the two and a half of Randy Fox. Chris Gruber comes off turn number four. He's going to get it a little bit sideways, but he's able to keep it on. He'll take the number two spot. Third to 16 to Ned Fitch. And fourth to 4C of Paul Conklin. 
Green flag is out. Wilmot on the accelerator down to the third number one. Kennedy second, Warren right there third. Kennedy gives a shot in the caboose to his team car. Here comes Jeremy Warren to the inside. Warren been fast in that pickup ride. The Taylor machine. They ride it down to three and four. Jeremy Warren down on the inside of the speedway looking to make something happen. Mike Wilmot Jr. leads the way. Then it's Warren by a half a nose. And Kennedy, once again, top three, will redraw. Kennedy gonna get a good run up the back straight away. Warren gonna get a good run as they are convulging on the back bumper of the N2 Junior of Mike Wilmot Junior. It continues to ride Wilmot. Just like it was last lap, still by about a fender, the 20th day of Warren, but now he'll take the number two spot. Kennedy pushes up and over the cushion. It's a two car breakaway at the front. The N2 Junior Wilmot, the 20 J of Warren. In the three and four this time, cross flags, three down, three to go. Wilmot on the outside, Warren looking to go down low. Warren taking another look in turn one. Gonna get a run off two, touching as they straighten it out at the back stretch. It rides Mike Wilmot Jr. Driver out of Windsor shows the way. Jeremy Warren right there on his back bumper. Parallel six are in the sky two more times around the speedway. Wilmot shows the way. Warren second. Kennedy third. Andy Bowles is fourth. David Fox Jr. fifth. White flag is in the air. Warren way down to the inside. Mike Wilmot Jr. shows the way. Warren right there, nipping on his heels. Off the number two quarter, it's still Wilmot showing the way. Warren, he's gonna get a good run off turn number four. We'll see it when they come to the checkered. Final time in a turn, three and four. Wilmot, Warren, checkered flag is in the air. The heat race win will go to Mike Wilmot Jr. Jeremy Warren second, Nick Kennedy third. Six laps of distance, three cars redraw. Green is out, and the final heat race of the evening is underway. Into turn one, they ride. Frankie Kennedy on the outside. He's going to take away the race lead as they run up the back straight away. Wilder back to second, side by side for third. Here comes the R2 of Michael Robinson. Fast Frankie out front, showing the way, the fast way. Wilder going to get a run off turn number two. Frankie bobbled a little bit. Robinson right there in the number three spot. Top three is where you want to be for the redraw. Into turn number three and four, they are they battle brewing out front. Kennedy, Wilder, Robinson, Whitman, any one of these four can pull this one off. As they ride it down to turn number one, Kennedy again gonna get that little bit of a push. Wilder gonna try to split the difference. Into turn number three and four goes the K2 of Frank Kennedy. This time Wilder right on his back bumper. They all pushed in the exact same line. Off turn four, halfway, three down, three to go for the race leader, Frank Kennedy. Wilder gonna get a good look underneath him in turn number two, but he's gonna have to tuck back in line. Robinson right there, third. Off turn number four, Robinson goes way up, trying to hold different line that time. Parallel sticks are in the sky. He might have found something. Two laps to go for the K2 of Frank Kennedy. Wilder, Robinson, Whitman, up the back, shoot, we ride. Frankie Kennedy leads the way into turn three and four. Wilder is second, Robinson third, white flag, one three-eighths of a mile to go for Frank Kennedy. Wilder up and over the cushion, that opens the door for Robinson. He'll have to pick up back in line though. Final time we ride up the back straight away. Frankie Kennedy has led them all and he'll lead it into turn three and four. Robinson down on the inside. Checkered flag is in the air. The wind goes to Frank Kennedy. Wilder for two and Robinson will take third. Fourth is Sheldon Whitman. Nick Branning, Mike Nagel Jr., your front row. And a four green flag is in hand and we're racing sportsman style down the front straightaway. Nick Branning out front on the point. Nagel gonna go to the outside. Bringing Mike Shane with him as they ride up the back straightaway. It continues to be though. The 12 of Nick Branning as he sets it down in the three and four. Branning shows the way he's gonna lead lap number one. 
Nagel is second, Shane third, then it's the M16, 14 of Gully, the 57 of Barton, the 42 of Olsimer. Olsimer takes over the number four spot. They are hot it down to quarter number three and four. The 12 of Brandon King shows the way in that number 12 hot rod. Into the south end of the speedway. Nagel up on the outside of the speedway. You got to go around the car on the bottom as he is working that outside groove. You saw the water put down under the intermission. He's trying to make that middle groove work. Meanwhile, behind him, trying to make the outside groove work is the 42 of Ryan Olsimer. But Nick Branning glued to that hub right now shows the way. That is Mike Shane, Mike Nagel Jr., Ryan Olsimer. Look at Ryan Olsimer to the outside of the speedway. He turns the wick up. He's going to get around the M16 of Shane and take over position number three. He's not done yet. He's going to stick it to the outside one more time as he goes up the back straight away on that outside line. Give him the number two spot, Ryan Olsimer. Puts that FYI Auto Sales, Marty Bunker owned 42, up on the outside of the speedway, and he has gone from fourth to the lead in one and a half laps on the outside of the speedway. Put Branding back to the number two spot. Third is Nagel, fourth is Shane, fifth Gully, sixth Barton, seventh Lawrence, and eighth is the double O of Jeremy Williams. Staying committed to the outside line is the 42 of Ryan Olsimer. He's going to continue to go to the outside, but he's showing everybody else there's a line up there. As Mike Nagel Jr. going to follow up suit to the outside. He'll try to work around the 12 of Nick Branning into turn number one. But how about Ryan Olsimer? His first start of the season here at the Penn Can Speedway. And he has not forgotten how to get around this speedway. Rhino leads lap number eight. Mike Nagel Jr. to the inside of Mike Shane as they ride into turn number one for position number three. How about Nick Branning? What a run he's having right now in the number two spot. Fifth continues to be the 14 of Moose Gully. Dusty Barton hot on his heels. Nine laps complete this time when they cross the start finish line for the Lushinsky Enterprises. FYI Auto Sales 42 of Ryan Olsimer. Mike Nagel Jr. got down on the hub a little bit, got sideways coming out of turn two. He'll lose the number three spot to Mike Shane as they ride off turn number four. It rides a 42 of Ryan Olsimer. His old car from a few seasons ago. Marty Bunker bought the car, brought him down here to see if he can get the setup in it. And I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure that setup is set up to perfection as he is flying high on the outside of the speedway. Working into the back of the double O of Jeremy Williams, put him a lap down. Battle for second is not done yet and it's far from over. Nick Branning has the position. He's had a great race going. He's got Mike Shane and Mike Nagel Jr. behind him. They are trying everything to get around the 12 of Branning, who has been running his line, hitting his marks each and every time for a number 12 ride. Halfway this time, Baker's dozen in and a dozen remain in this 25 lap affair. Marty Bunker's ride, driven tonight by Ryan Olsimer, shows the way. Mike Shane gets by Nick Branning. Look at Mike Nagel Jr. on the hub. Going to put it down. It's a drag race for second with a lap car on the outside. In the turn three, give the third position to the M7 of Mike Nagel Jr. Branning back to position number four. Ryan Olsimer shows the way. Shane is second, Nagel third, Branning fourth, Barton fifth, sixth is Gully, seventh Lawrence, and eighth is the double zero of Jeremy Williams. The high flying 42, continuing to ride that outside line as he comes out to number four this time. He's gonna put lap number 16 up in lights on the Pepsi scoreboard for the driver of the 42, Ryan Olsimer. Ryan, a past track champion in the sportsman division, a one-time modified feature winner. Sold this car to Marty Bunker. Trying to get this set up in it, the car is dialed in as he is flying high on that outside line. Mike Shane in the number two spot, current point leader, defending track champion. Mike Nagel Jr. has won a bunch of races here in 2017, but right now it's the former track champion showing the way. He rides it off in the number two corner. 
He has about a 14 car length advantage as they go into turn number three. Ryan Olsmer started six, made a great move, going to the outside, going from fourth to the lead, and has never looked back now as he comes out of the corner as many five fingers from assistant starter Jeff Wayman, indicating five more trips around the speedway for the 42 of Rhino, Ryan Olsmer. Mike Shane holds down the number two spot. Mike Nagel Jr. third, Branding fourth. Fifth, the 14 of Gully. Or, sorry, the fifth is a 57 of Barton. Sixth, Gully. Seventh, Lawrence. Eight is Williams. What a ride for the 42 of Ryan Olsimer. Twenty-two laps complete for the race leader. He has a clear racetrack ahead as he rides it down to the number three quarter. This time the parallel sticks are in the sky. Two more times around the three-eighths mile for Ryan Olsimer. He bobbled a little bit that time in turn number one. The M16 of Mike Shane closing, but he is running out of time. As Ryan Olsmer sees the white flag, one three-eighths of a mile to go. He stepped in to try to get the setup dialed in. He's using that outside line. And Ryan Olsmer up the back straight away for the final time in a three and four. Checkered flag is in the air. Picking up the win is going to be Ryan Olsmer. Mike Shane is second. Mike Nagel Jr. third. Nick Branning fourth. Fifth is Dusty Barton. Jamie France, Camden Maybe, your front row. Wob turn number four. Bob's got the stick pointing at the cone. That's where we're firing from. And we are racing down the front straightaway. Maybe in France to turn number one. Both feature winners this season. Look at Travis Fitcher to the outside of Bailey Boyd up the back straightaway. Looking to bring Cody Manmiller with him. Manmiller visiting us tonight. He's made a few starts in the Tour Series races. Keep your eyes peeled on that double O machine. They ride up the back straight away. It's all Jamie France showing the way in the number 11 hung machine. France rides off of quarter number two, maybe second. Fitcher is third. Lap number three up in lights for the 11 of Jamie France. Maybe ride second, Fitcher third, Boyd fourth. Man Miller fifth. As they ride it off a quarter number four this time, they're putting lap number four up in lights on the Pepsi scoreboard. Off turn number four this time. There's going to be five laps in lights. Fifteen remain for the 600cc modifieds. Jamie France, the Montefort fireworks ride, went to victory lane. Oh, about a month ago in car number 11. Looking strong right now. Second ride's Camden, maybe. Bailey Boyd looking to make a charge in 163. Trying to put it up on the cushion. Fitcher down on the inside. The cars running second, third, and fourth are one, two, and three in the point standings. And right now, the way they run are three, two, one. Your leader, that Montefort Fireworks number 11 machine shows the way. Jamie France out front trying to set sail and run away and hide. France clicks eight down, just 12 remain for the Montefort Fireworks sponsor, number 11 of Jamie France. Travis Fitcher in the 71 second. Bailey Boyd third in the 163. Camden maybe fourth, fifth, Man Miller. Then it's France in the 101. Kithcart, Deal, Mudge, Smith, Shabilia, Decker, Kithcart, Shabilia. 
battle for the third position. Bailey Boyd on that outside. Camden maybe down on the inside. Halfway, 10 down, 10 to go for your race leader, Jamie France. Travis Fitcher's closing in on your leader. Fitcher trying to get back to victory lane. Caution in turn number four. In front of your leaders, that is a 51 of Josh Kithcart. And Cody Manmiller collected and coming to a rest. Tough break for Manmiller running in fifth. Green flag back out, 10 laps in, 10 laps remain. As Fitcher slides up over the cushion, loses two positions, make it three. As the 101 of France gonna get by as well. Fitcher back to fifth. Battles back to fourth. Out front and continues to be the 11 of Jamie France showing the way in a turn number three. Bailey Boyd is second. Third is 56 to maybe. Fitcher battling back with maybe, looking to get inside the top three. Right now, Camden maybe rides out there in the number three spot. They're chasing the 11 of Jamie France. And Bailey Boyd is closing. The young driver out of Kirkwood reeling in your race leader. Fitcher again with handling issues in turn one. Loses the fifth position to the Kithcart 25 ride. Chris Kithcart up to the number five spot. Jamie France out front, rolling down into turn number three. Bailey Boyd bringing it to within three car lengths. Off turn number four, it's still the 11 of France. Problems in turn number four. Car backing into the wall, almost to the wall. That is the Kithcart 25 machine, Chris Kithcart, spinning around over in turn number four. We're under caution on lap number 15. Green flag is out. We're back racing five laps to settle the score between Jamie France and Bailey Boyd as they ride off corner number two. Camden may be right there looking for to capitalize on any mistake. Jim France into the fourth position. Fifth battling is the 71 of Fitcher, the 5 a.m. of Mudge. 16 down, four remain for the 11 of France. Showing the way, looking for his second win of the season. Bailey Boyd, the point leader, looking to get another great finish here tonight. The Montefort Fireworks, number 11 of Jamie France shows the way off of quarter number two. Bailey Boyd holding down the number two spot. Third is maybe fourth France. Fifth pitcher, then it's Mudge, Shabilia, Smith, Shabilia, and Decker. Parallel sticks are dancing two more times around the 3 8 mile. Again, Fitcher having some handling woes in turn number one. He'll lose the fifth position to Mudge. White flag is in the air one more time around the speedway. Down to within five car lengths is the 163 of Bailey Boyd. Battle shaping up for third. It's going to come down to the wire. Into third, number three and four. Final time. Checkered flags in the air. In for his second win of the season, the 11 of Jamie France. Bailey Boyd is second. Camden maybe third. Tim France fourth. And Adam Mudge is fifth. He's out of the cars. The old ride. Coming in tonight, subbing, if you will, putting some setups in the car. Ryan Olsimer, congratulations. Man, I'll tell you what, you should uh, see if you can get it this ride a little more often, huh? Yeah, this car hooked up tonight where no one else was putting it. Yeah, I like to walk the track before the races. I seen there was a ton of bite. Uh, Gary was saying to run the bottom. I said, no way, I'm going to pack the top in. That's it. The, this, you went from fourth to the lead about a lap and a half up on the outside. Now, from what I've been told, you're jumping in the car to, to set it up for Marty, is that right? Yeah, Marty was struggling with it, got away from the basic setup, and uh, we went up there last night and went over the car. Um, I got to thank Buzz Barton, that's his car, 
he was nice enough to put me in it and Marty for letting me drive it. Um, he'll get it figured out. Just got to drive it a little harder. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, picking up tonight's 6 2 Craig Sportsman win. And I got to thank my dad, my stepmother. My wife's not here for letting me come. We just had a little baby girl, so things are hectic at the house. That's why I quit. Congratulations. Picking up the win, it is Ryan Olsemer. The Excalibur Sports Bar and Grill, Beer Express at EP. Lucas Hill Beef Farm. Number 11 picking up the win, his second of the season. Jamie France. Jamie, congratulations. Welcome back to Victory Lane. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you, this track really came along. I was a little skeptical coming in with all that rain today, but uh, they really did a nice job on it. It was really fast and smooth, and, and I had a real good time out there. The car seemed to work wherever you put it inside, outside, wherever you had to go, the car just seemed to kind of get that groove. Yeah, the car kind of did what it wanted. I was just behind the wheel. I did, it went wherever it went, and it was, seemed like it was taking off pretty good. So. Got to be a lot of people you want to thank the guy here back to Victory Lane for the second time in 2017. Oh, yeah, I want to thank uh, my crew, uh, Danny, Johnny, and, uh, and Tim. Uh, I can't really thank Tim because I was actually competing against him and, uh, and beat him. So uh, I want to thank my sponsors, Lucas Still Beef Farm, Excalibur, NEP, Montefiore Fireworks, and uh, Lose Lawn Care, and A&E Tire and Auto. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, he's going to pick up his second win of 2017 in the Excel 600cc modifies Jimmy France. As they roll down the backstage, will unlock the cage. As they head off into three, you better bet they're set to be let free. So wait for the cover that brings fear to their mothers. Green means going down the front straightaway. They head at the turn number one. They all negotiate the front straightaway perfectly in a one. Look at Mike Colson on the outside of Tompkin. It's the old gun versus the young gun as they ride down the back stretch. Tompkin on the inside. Colson up on the outside as they come by to lead lap number one. Hang on, Tonkin, somehow they saved it on the front stretch. Tonkin will leave lap number one. DRG riding on the outside of the five of Grammis as they go into turn number three. Grammis down on the inside, he's gonna try to work it, but look at Darwin up on the outside. DRG, you kidding me, to the outside, he watched him do it in the sportsman. Darwin loves that wild side, but Brett Tonkin, the invader right now, leads out front. Tonkin will come by the stripe. He has a four car length advantage over Darwin Green and don't look now, but Joey Graham is testing the waters on the outside. Brett Tonkin, the driver out of Carbondale, Pennsylvania, the Grim Construction, number 15 ride. Showing the way out front. As they ride side by side for second, DRG on the bottom now. As Grammas up on the outside, Joey Grammas takes away position number two on lap number four. Remember the bounty. The bounty is out for the five of Grammas. An additional $300 added to the purse. Brett Tonkin, the invader, the IED regular trying to come in and collect the bounty. 
but don't look now. Grims, Grimace to the outside. Tonkin does not know he's up on the outside, so Tonkin tries the middle. He's got to hear him now. Joey Grimes is one of those powerful motors here at the Speedway, and you hear him when he gets on it. And now he knows he's there as he's alongside all of turn number four, side by side into turn one. Grimace rim rides the cushion. Pennsburg, Pennsylvania's Joey Grimace just went around the 15 of Tomkin. What's he going to do now? Is Tomkin going to go back to the outside? That's where he got up to the front to begin with. He's got to see Grimes riding that cushion. Joey Grimes pushes the cushion, and here comes Tomkin right back on the bottom. They are going to drag race to turn three. And Tomkin did a slide job of Marvel 4. Right back to the inside comes Grimace. Look at the battle out front. He's going to try it again in the turn one. Grimace going to slide up, and here comes Tomkin again. We're only on lap nine. There's still 21 to go. Oh, but turn four, they ride it. Joey Grimace sets the pace. He knows how it's going to be. Tomkin in car number 15 right there second, and it's Green third. Colston fourth, fifth is Hartnett. Lap traffic going to become an issue when they come on with turn number four. This time we're going to put 11 laps in light, 19 remain. Outside line is the line you want to be in. Joey Grimace is up there. Lap traffic going to become an equalizer. Tonkin needs to stay with him on the back bumper when they hit these lap traffic cars. Battle for third is going to come up as that continues to be a great battle for third. But right now, Joey Graham is negotiating lap traffic. And so is Tonkin now. Tonkin will clear. There's no lap cars between them until now when Grimace goes to the outside. Brett Tonkin makes the appearance here. He's riding second. Joey Grimace to the outside. He's going to be able to have to rim ride the cushion around the lap traffic cars. Caution on the speedway, the 14K of Dan Morden. Morden slid up and over the cushion, up into the loose stuff. In between three and four, final double final restart of the evening. And a great start by the 15 of Tonkin. Colston thought about going four wide. And now Joey Grimace is going to be driving on a mission from first to fifth and hang on in the middle of the pack. Brett Tonkin got a great jump. Look out, Colston. He's up and over the slop, and he gets her sideways. He loses five spots. Off of turn number four, Brett Tonkin. Here's the good restart on lap 14, and now he's trying to set sail. Colston again out with a slop and caution on the speedway. And the 31 of Dan Solomon, and here comes Joey Grammis. Green flag is back out as they ride caution on the speedway in turn number four. We have a parking lot. Looks to be the five of Butch Getz. The two of Bobby Trapper. The 38 of Jeff Shealy. The 51 of Mike Colston. Green flag is back out. They fire off of turn number four. Everyone stays on it. We're good into turn number one. Brett Tonkin out front. Trying to run away, but Darwin Green is turning up the wick. DRG in that number two spot on the outside. Look at the stalker, Kevin Hartnett, working that bottom to perfection. Stealing the number two spot. Graham has turned it up the wick. But Brett Tonkin trying to run away and hide. The Grim Construction 15 ride. Darwin Green battling back for second. 
19 in, 11 to go for the 15 of Tonkin. Green. Slides up, opens up the door. Here comes the Indiana Park net. Here comes Grimace. He's going to try that inside. Grimace has used the inside, the outside, the middle, anywhere he has. Darwin Green up and over the cushion and coming to a rest. Absolute heartbreak for DRG running in the number two spot. Into turn number three and four, Green Flag is out racing on the corner. And they are on the accelerator. Brett Tonkin, the invader, looking to steal a win. But look at the 88 of Hartnett. We'll battle it on that inside. He's going to move it down to the inside. Tonkin's going to miss his line. They're side by side. Tonkin, now he's going to probably come down to the bottom. He's still going to stay committed to the outside, and here comes Grammis. Grammis back into the mix. He gets into Hartnett. Well, that happens. The 15 of Tompkins starts to pull away. Tom Pays in the mix. Tompkins, eight laps away from stealing one. Away from the home track regulars. Kevin Hartnett going to try to get himself recollected. Had a good shot off turn number four a few laps ago. The Brett Tompkin and the Grim Construction number 15 ride. They're using that outside line. Now we see Hartnett trying to get up to the outside and see if he can turn up the wick on the outside of the speedway. He's looking for his second win of the season. Remember, an additional $300 on the line because of the bounty on Joey Grimmis, and you know he wants that extra $300. Five fingers this time from Chief Starter Gary Folk. Can Brett Conn can come in here and beat the hometown boys? Five lamps away. He's looking to collect the bounty. It's Tompkin, Hartnett, Ramis, Pompey, and Malcolm, your top five, four laps to go. The 15 of Tonkin using that outside of the speedway, trying to run away, but Kevin Hartnett, the stalker right there, looking to pounce and don't think he's not going to go down to the inside in the next three laps. He's still within four car lengths. Joey Graham is third. Fourth is Pompey. Tonkin going to see when he crosses the stripe this time, the parallel sticks, indicating two more times around the speedway. Can he hit his marks? Just perfect for two more laps. Tonkin, two car length advantage. Here comes Hartnett to the inside. <clears throat> he slides up. One and a half more trips around the speedway. White flag is in the air. One more trip around the speedway. Brett Tonkin, Kevin Hartnett. In the turn number one, Hartnett goes hard. On the outside is still Tonkin showing the way. In the turn three and four, caution on the speedway. Cars on the outside of the racetrack, and this one is going to be a good old fashioned one lap shootout. Tompkin has the field in hand. Green flag is out, and we are on it. Tompkin takes him to turn number one. And here comes Grimace down on the outside. But look at Tompkin pulling him away at the back straightaway. Final time in the turn three and four. Hartnett one more time to the inside. Oh, turn number four, it's not gonna be enough. Brett Tompkin comes in and collects the bounty. Hartnett is second, third is Grammis, fourth is Pompey, and fifth is Brian Malcolm. The G&G towing, scrap, recycling, Williams diesel and truck repair. Grim construction, TCC, Tri-County container, your modified feature winner, Brett Tompkin! Brett, congratulations. Welcome to a place that you were familiar with a few years ago. Now you're at your normal Friday night track, taking the night off. You came in here tonight, and boy, you didn't forget how to get around this place. No, I can't thank my guys enough, I'll tell you. We worked, my guys worked their tails off on this car all season. And uh, we finally got a goal in these last couple races, and uh, we've had some good races, put a good stretch here together. And uh, coming in here tonight, you know, to win a pen can again, it's, it's awesome. 
the car worked on the outside. I'll talk about that, that lap. Last restart before we went back to single file after the halfway point, you got a great restart over there in Fort. Yeah, I thought, uh, I, I know I started on a pole, but it wasn't easy, that's for sure. Um, I thought Joey would have took the bottom. Originally, he was going to the bottom, and then he moved up to the top, and, and we went down, I came off a of four, and I'll tell you what, this motor, it pulled right down the straightaway, and I was able to get to the top ahead of him, and uh, and I was able to cruise from there. I had my brother in the stands there, giving, you know, giving me hand signals where to, he told me to move up after I was on the bottom and I got passed. He told me to move up that one caution and it worked out good. You know, it worked out good now in the last couple laps. You had Hartnett. What was going through your mind with one lap to go and, and you knew that Kevin Hartnett was taking a couple times on the inside, went up to the outside. But man, with one lap to go, it's got to be a great feeling to know you got the point and they got to get it around you, right? Yeah, it was. I saw him there that one time. He got a good run off of four and I was able to pull him off the top coming off of four and uh, and I, I could hear him, and I wasn't sure if it was him or, or Grammas, but I knew it was one of them, you know, because they're the best here, and they both have white cars. But, um, and then I saw the last lap he got under me coming coming to the checker, and I could see it was Hartnett. But, you know, he, he gets around here good. I was lucky to start in front of him tonight, and uh, and we got it done. How about the people you want to thank the guy here to Victory Lane tonight? Uh, Grim Construction, um, g and Towing, Tri-County Container. Um, Wally Fields engines, Higfab chassis, Integra shocks, uh, just all my guys. You, you can't imagine how hard these guys work and if we finally got one. Ladies and gentlemen, picking up tonight's Model 5 win and the bounty is Brett Tonkin. Race fans, it's factory stock feature time, and you know what that means. The smell of the 110 octane fuel rubber burning mud slinging, double grains are waving and we're racing factory stock style. They're three wide on the start down to turn one. The flying welder, Tommy Groover, out front sets the pace, and that's 7R machine. Ken Washburn second, Nate Hill third. Into three and four, Tommy Groover. Sets the pace off of turn number four. He's going to lead lap number one. Second is Ken Washburn. Third to two and a half of Randy Fox. Nate Hiller, three wide, four position, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nair almost went four wide. Nate Hill off the pace in that number 11 machine. He straightens it up, but I believe it's a right rear flat tire on the Nate Hill machine. Green flag is out. We're back racing. Into turn number one, Tommy Gruber sets the pace. Off the quarter this time, they're going to put three laps up in lights. Tommy Gruber sets the pace into turn number one. Second rides, Randy Fox, third, Josh Towner. Fourth, Chris Gruber. Fifth is Jim Sykes. Five laps up in lights this time. Hang on to a Josh Counter on the front straightaway. He gets it collected and we stay clean and green. That Fitch about to lose a right side door. Lap number four, free start, green flag is back out, back underway. The flying welder, Tommy Gruber, sets the base of the turn number one, Josh Towner up the outside. He's gonna get up into the outside wall. Nate Hill's up over the loose stuff. And green flag in hand, back underway, lap number four, restart, back on it. And look at the start Randy Fox got that time into turn number one. Tommy Groover right there in the number two spot. Sykes is third, fourth is Colbert's in fifth, Groover. Off the corner, Randy Fox taking the lead on lap four, but Tommy Groover right there battling back. 
Fox is going to push up to the cushion. Gruber with a great move. And a rocket back to the leg lead. Gruber out front. Fox is second. Sykes third. Culberson fourth. Gruber fifth. His factory stock's going to throw him up, bounce it out that right rear tire off the cushion. That's a dangerous thing to do when you're on DOT tires. Hang on, Jim Sykes and Chris Groover. Piece of debris falling in between turn four. Alicia Towner stopping just over it. Great job by Alicia Towner. Actually, she straddled over the debris. So it should not have cut down a tire. Looking to go back to green flag racing over there at turn number three where the orange cone is. We're back racing and we got a battle out front. The flying welder, Tommy Gruber, shows the way. Randy Fox racing the chase and Jim Sykes. You're going to keep going. Great job by the Sykes SIX ride. Tommy Gruber out front. Trying to run away and hide. Looking for three wins in a row. But he goes off the quarter this time. Nine laps are in. 31 remain for Tommy Gruber. Randy Fox, Chris Gruber, Chuck Colbertson, Nate Hill, Alicia Towner, Ken Washburn, Jim Sykes, and Josh Towner. Gruber sets it down in the one and two. Randy Fox second, Chris Gruber third. Colbertson caution on the speedway for the four of Ken Washburn. Hop turn four, they go. 11 laps complete for the seminar of Tommy Gruber. The two and a half of Randy Fox riding right there in the number two spot. Hop turn number four, they ride it. The two and a half of Fox trying to chase down the seven of Tommy Gruber. Josh Towner making his way up. Battling with the 8th seed Chuck Colbertson. He is down three laps to the field. But he's going to try to race his way up and get as many back as he can. Use this as a test session, perhaps. Tommy Groover, the flying welder. Pipeline welder by day, race car driver at night. Randy Fox second. Colbertson third. He's the point leader. Groover is fourth. Fifth is Nate Hill. Sixth is Jim Sykes. Seventh, Alicia Towner. Eighth, Ken Washburn. And ninth is the ex of Josh Towner. Chris Gruber up and over the cushion and trying to keep it going. Tell you, you get over that cushion, it's slop. It's a tall cushion tonight with a heavy racetrack. Gruber just went from fourth to seventh. Alicia Towner in turn number four on the inside of the speedway. Caution is out here on lap number 15. Green flag is back out. Tommy Gruber looking to go for three wins in a row. Randy Fox, 
Andy Box looking to go back to victory lane. He's been here already this season. Sixteen down, nine remain. The Chris Gruber seventy six machine about to lose some sheet metal in turn one. Eight laps remain, and when they cross the start finish line. Green flag is back out, back underway. Groover, Fox, Hill, Sykes, Colbertson, your top five. Tommy Groover looking for three in a row out here. He's going to be seven laps away, but Randy Fox looking to chase him down the rim right of that cushion. Up to number four, they ride it. About a six car length advantage for your race leader. It continues to be Tommy Hoover out front, six car lengths ahead of the two and a half of Tommy Hampton. Old ride, driven by Randy Fox. That car is one of numerous races. The 11 and eight Hill making an appearance and he's riding in third right now. Sykes fourth. Fifth is Colbertson. Caution on the speedway on lap number 21, Debris. Green flag back out, 22 in, three remain. Tommy Gruber showing the way. Fox right there in the number two spot, third hill, fourth Sykes, fifth is Colbertson. In and turn three, they ride it. The parallel popsicle sticks in the sky. Two more times around the speedway for Tommy Gruber, looking to pick up his third in a row. Here at the Penn Can Speedway, he's got a nine car length advantage over Randy Fox. Nate Hill riding a strong third. Sykes and Colbertson. Green flag back out, back underway. One lap to go for the seven of Tommy Groover for three in a row. In the turn number three and four, the checkered flag will be in the air and picking up the win. His third in a row here at the Penn Can Speedway is Tommy Groover. Randy Fox second, third, Nate Hill fourth is Chuck Goberson in fifth. Is the 76 of Groover. Has the field in hand, and we're racing alongside him is Mike Robinson. They ride it all the way down to turn number one. Robinson on the outside. He's going to check out off turn number two. Wilmot second, third, Kennedy fourth is Warren. Kennedy and Whitman battling for position number five. And into turn number one, they ride it. It's the R2 of Michael Robinson showing the way. Wilmot second, third is Kennedy, fourth Warren. 
Fifth right now is Whitman. Jeremy Warren has a fast rod off turn four. Riding the cushion. Up the back straight away there, chasing Michael Robinson in the R2. And it's the end two of Nick Kennedy, the 20 of Warren. The 4 MK of Sheldon Whitman. And the K2 of Frank Kennedy. Mike Wilmot Jr. right there in the N2 Jr. In the mix as well. Out front, check it out from this one. It is the R2 of Michael Robinson. He shows the way that Lechner service overdrive automotive sponsored ride. Robinson, Kennedy, Warren, Whitman, Kennedy, Wilmot, Bowles, David Fox Jr., and Josh Wilder rounds out the field. Lamp traffic becoming a player. The lap car staying down on the inside of the speedway. Robinson's going to have to go to the outside of him. They go down into turn number one. Robinson takes the advantage, has a 12 car length lead. Over Nick Kennedy, Jeremy Warren, Mike Wilbon Jr. putting side by side with the K2 of Frank Kennedy. That's for position number four and five. Sheldon Whitman right there with the mix. Michael Robinson from the outside front row, starting position. Running away with this one. Eight laps in, halfway this time. Eight down, seven remain. For Michael Robinson. Nick Kennedy. Jeremy Warren, your top three. Running cars they put on on the south end. It continues to ride the R2 of Michael Robinson. He's showing the way by a straightaway. Battle gonna come down through second. And this one, Nick Kennedy has it. Jeremy Warren all over his back bumper. He wants it. Sheldon Whitman breaks in the front end. He'll pull it down to the infield out of harm's way. This time, 10 down. 10 to go, 20 laps the distance. For the four cylinders. Take a look at the four cylinder point standings. Mike Robinson looking to get back up on top of the point standings. He was 25 points behind Nick Kennedy, but Nick Kennedy running second. Trying everything. That championship hunt going to come down to the end. Jeremy Warren is third. Josh Wilder fourth in the standings. On the racetrack, they ride it. Michael Robinson shows the way. Nick Kennedy rides second. Warren third. Frank Kennedy fourth. Mike Wilmot Jr. fifth. Josh Wilder sixth. There are the cars left on the racetrack. 14 in, 13 in, seven remain. Up the back stretch we ride. The R2 of Michael Robinson, a straightaway lead over the N2 of Nick Kennedy. Robinson bobbled over in four that time. We'll have to see what happens here in one and two. Down to the three and four. Let's see if he happens to have that issue again. He's got to straighten out whatever it was. He must have missed his mark. He is back out there about a straightaway lead over the Kennedy N2, the Kennedy K2, and the 20J of Jeremy Warren slipping back a little bit. Michael Robinson rides it off a quarter number four this time. 16 in four remain.
for the yard two of Michael Robinson. He's continuing the ride down the back stretch, putting Joshua Wilder down two laps to the field now. Robinson has this one in control. Just three more trips around the 3 8 mile. Nick Kennedy second, Frank Kennedy third, Warren fourth. And the M2 junior, Mike Wilmot Jr. breaking. He'll go pit side. Parallel sticks are in the sky for your race leader, Michael Robinson. Nick Kennedy, Frank Kennedy. Jeremy Warren and Josh Wilder unofficially would be fifth. White flag in the air, one more trip around the speedway for Mike Robinson. Robinson goes to the south end for the final time. Battle for second between the brothers, gonna come down to the wire, but their stepbrother, Michael Robinson, sets the way in the turn three and four. Final time, checkered flag is in the air. Picking up the win is going to be Michael Robinson. Second will be at the line, Nick Kennedy. Frank Kennedy third. Fourth is the 20J of Jeremy Warren and fifth to the five of Josh Wilder. He's out of the car. Congratulations for his third win in a row here at the Pencan Speedway. He drives the Riverside Lanes. I like Victor Lane so much, just want to make it a permanent place or what? I sure like to. <laughs> this car's on rails out here tonight. High road, no matter where you went with this thing. Everyone else seems to hit that cushion. You were riding the cushion as well, but when you needed to go down low, you certainly had the power and everything you needed to make that work. Yeah, she'd work on the bottom if we needed it, but I figure if I stayed up top, that's where they got to be. They can't get around. <laughs> you got that right. You got to be a lot of people you want to thank to make this possible, make it three in a row. Well, first off, we got to thank Dave Hallisey. He's really helped me out a lot this year. And Towner Motorsports for finally getting my uh, motor situation taken care of. And uh, we got Wildside Graphics, Kit for Chassis, Riverside Lanes, Zimmer Logging, The Wolf Pack, Kavanaugh Auto. I think that's it. And all the boys here in the shop. I, I got to tell you, it took a few weeks of sitting at home, and I know that killed you, but man, you're making it pay off right now, right? Oh, definitely. I wanted to go race other places in the worst way, but it just didn't work out. Congratulations. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, for the third time in 2017, in the third in a row, Tommy Gruber is your factory stock feature winner. Climbing out of the car, picking up tonight's four cylinder feature win. Michael Robinson, Mike, congratulations. Welcome back to Victory Lane. You took a week off, you lost a little bit of the points, but man, you're only 25 behind. It's gonna come down to the wire between you and your, your stepbrother. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting from here on out. Uh, I haven't looked to see how many races are left. I'm just trying to stay up front and hopefully get it back. There you go. Uh, gotta be a lot of people you wanna thank the guy here at Victory Lane. Yeah, I gotta thank my dad, my mom, my stepdad. Um, my grandma, 
Buckner's Service, Kennedy's Diner, Overdrive Automotive, Witt's Barbershop. Um, everyone who helps out. Congratulations. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, pick up the nice four-cylinder feature win. Michael Robinson, on behalf of staff and management at the Ben Can Speedway, I'm Craig Hawley saying thank you for coming out to tonight's racing. We look forward to seeing you back here next Friday night. Keep the racing on the racetrack and have a good night.